Namaskaram. Welcome to Love of Ramayan. To the viewers of my TV, my humble pranam, I am Vidya. Join me please. Short prayer. Om Bhadram Karne Vihi Shrunuyam Devaha Bhadram Paschema Akshabir Yajatraha Stirair Angaistushtuvagam Sastanu Vihi Vyashema Devahitam Yadayuhu Swasina Indru Vridashravaha Swasina Puka Vishwavedaha Swastina Starksho Arishtane Mihi Swastino Brahaspatil Dadatu Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Para Brahma Tasme Shri Gurave Namaha Pranavau Pavana Kumar Kalabhana Pavak Gyana Gana Jasu Hridaya Agar Basahi Ram Sarachapadara Manu Javam Maruta Tulya Vegam Jitendriyam Buddhi Matam Varishtam Vatatmajam Vanarayutta Mukyam Shri Ramadutam Sharanam Prapatye My humble pranam at the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev Ji, Swami Brahm Swarupananda Ji of Kashi, India. To Santul Siras Ji, that Kavi of Sri Ram Charitamanas, and to each and every one of you again. Last time we spoke about that aspect that Santul Siras Ji wanted to give to us of the sadak. That sadak came in the form of Hanumanji. Also, he is the guru, for he brought Sri Rama to Sugriv. Hanumanji, we said, in Sri Ram Charitamanas represents the mind aspect, and he is also that Mahapran. It is strange the Leela of Bhagawan, for I was born in South America. My Guru Devji came from Kashi, India, and I fell in love of the teaching of Sri Ram Charitamanas. One of the simple things about Santul Siddhas Ji, when it was prevalent that all of these scriptures were written in that Deva Bhasha, Sanskrit, Santul Siddhas Ji wanted this love to go to everyone. So he wrote it in Awadhi language, that Awadhi Hindi, for all of us to be able to partake of. Last time we spoke about Hanumanji on this pathway to spirituality. All of us at some point will come to that part of us where we're looking for our ideal. What is our goal? Our goal is truth. In religion, it is called God. In philosophy, we call it truth, the supreme. Who is that truth in Sri Ram Charitamanas? Bhagwan Sri Ram. Ramayana is teaching us to get to that place of Paramavishram, supreme peace. Who is this peace? Masita. Let us now go to that part of us. We are three parts, body, mind, and the soul. Let us go to that part of us that is the mind, Hanumanji. Hanumanji always remembering 
श्री राम एवरी वर्क दैट ही टेक्स अप इज श्री राम ही इज द एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ ट्रूथ एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू बी कम एंड टू डू ट्रूथ फॉर वर्क ऑलवेज वट आर वी सीकिंग ऑल ऑफ आर सी एंड आई पीस जॉय ब्लिस Hanuman ji is teaching us when Mainak offered him the rest the mountain the hill offered him to rest where can i rest until i am finish with shri ma shri rama's work rama kaaja no where to rest but i take your blessings and i move on towards my goal we said that mainak represents that material things as we grow it is necessary to have material things but we must know where to apply it how much to apply he barely touched that mountain and went on his rama's kaj we came to surasa that fame as we have acquired and there is nothing wrong with acquiring as long as we know how to use it the fame comes and we may become giddy in this but as we saw he overcame this fame by making himself big or small meaning no when to humble yourself and to move on towards your goal simvika he came to simvika represents jealousy nowhere on the path to spirituality should we have jealousy and if you go into your ramayan and you start to read sundar kan simvika was eradicated jealousy brings us to that place in us that is total negativity negativity puts us in a place of darkness our quality is positive Hanuman ji eradicating this negativity is telling us bring everything positive into your being this prayer that we did manojavam maruta tulya vegam chitendriyam buddhi matam varishtam in here it is telling us he is that fire of eradicating these wrong doings these evil where is this evil where is the wrong doing if we are a bhakta and looking at each other we only see positive si ram mai sab jag jani karu pranam jori jug pani everywhere we look we should see shri ram ma sita so where is this evil where are the wrong doings it is within us and with all of these steps that we are going through mainak Surasa Simvika is teaching us how to eradicate the negativity and coming to that positive part of us that is looking for hmm peace ma sita prabhu shri ram truth the goal always our goal it is my belief that we are created to dispel darkness not to allow ourselves to be enveloped by it hanuman ji santosi das ji is always praying hanuman ji let me see this prabhu shri ram if we go within ourselves the conversation at one point comes between hanuman ji and prabhu shri ram and it goes देह बुद्ध्या तु दासो अस्मि जीव बुद्ध्या त्वद अंशक आत्म बुद्ध्या त्वम एव अहम इति मे निश्चित मति हनुमान जी सेइंग व्हेन आई थिंक ऑफ माय सेल्फ एज द बॉडी we said we have three bodies the body the mental aspect of us physical the mental and the astral 
body, mind, spirit, Atman. If I think of myself as the body, I am the servant and you are the master. If I think of myself as the individual soul, then you are that Paramatma, the Supreme Soul. Then when I come to that spiritual self of mine, I realize that you and I are one. Jai Shri Ram. CPA, tax planners, not just tax preparers. Providing services, IRS audits and representation, including foreign income and offshore account disclosures and compliance, tax return preparations, including exit tax returns, accounting and payroll services, financial statement audits, Manjit Singh CPA, offices in Ashburn and Falls Church, phone 703-280-5656 or on the web at mscpa.us. Hi, my name is Kaldeep Gill. I'm broker of Sky Realty. The reason we are so successful, because clients trust us. I've been doing this my whole life. My team is my wife, my office manager, and my agents. We look forward to on your business, and we do speak your language. Thank you. viewers to my TV as we were discussing jealousy should not have any place inside of us on this path to spirituality or anywhere otherwise it brings such negativity one thought goes into the next and it creates a forest of evildoers this is where this evil is this is where the wrongdoing is it is in our mind the mind can be our friend, the mind can be our enemy. You are sitting in one place or your mind could be halfway across the world. It is very dangerous or it is your very best friend. Hanumanji, the sadhak, is teaching us how to use this mind for the betterment of ourselves. After Simvika, we come to Lankini. Lankini represents Anga, that Rajasic part of us. Let us go through and think about this. If we allow our minds to pull us away from what we are, the positive, the joy, the peace, the bliss. If we let Anga erode inside of us, 
it breaks us down. From a medical standpoint, it creates high blood pressure, all kinds of diseases. It keeps us in that place where we cannot see ourselves as part of a whole. Bhagwan Sri Ram is that whole that we are trying to be, to recognize and to realize the truth, as we say in philosophy. What is your truth? What is the pathway to get there? This is what Santulsi Dasji is trying to teach you and I. Anga. Perhaps when you have to discipline someone, a measure of anger is necessary. It is, it comes to that guna in us. We have tamasik guna, rajasik guna, sattvic guna. So that rajasik self of ours is that energetic self in us. That at some times we get a little bit upset, but it is necessary to do the work there. So Lankini in Sundar Khan tells to Hanumanji, I was told that you were coming. And at one point he hits her with the fist. This is our hand, four fingers, the thumb, five for conversation. If I get angry at someone and I push at one finger, I may not do anything to get them away from me. I make them more angry and I stay in anger. I push with my hand. I may be giving a little bit more force behind it. Do something. But again, we're staying in anger. Hanumanji is showing us with this fist, as they say, which, by the way, is representing that gada that you see he has. Completely, completely eradicate your negativity to come to that place inside of you that is positive. In Sri Ram Charitamanas, we did this Deha Buddhya Tu Daso Asmi. Sri Ram Charitamanas tells us Ishwar Ansha Jiva Avinashi Chetan Amal Sahaj Sukarasi. Part of that Bhagwan, the eternal, the ever consciousness, the pure, the ever blissfulness. This is what we are seeking on this path as a sadhak. Hanumanji taking us by the hand, teaching us as our Sadguru does, always wanting to see our growth taking us out of the darkness into light. Take away the negativity and replace it with positive. Everything in our scriptures is teaching us to do just this. The images, the monkey face of Hanumanji, as we said, mind constantly jumping. If you watch him, sometimes he's in a meditative state. Who is he meditating on? Prabhu Sri Ram, Bara Bara Raghubira Sambari, always remembering the truth within us. Let us not stray very far from this. Until we meet again, my humble pranam to each and every one of you. Jai Sri Ram.